name of Jesus. We also bring you greetings from our senior pastors, Bishop Dr. Cecil G. Mullings and Pastor Dolores Mullings, our ministers, deacons, leaders, as well as the Mount Bethel Church of God family. Thank you for joining us today for another installment of the relevant word. Like the psalmist David, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. It is truly a great day to give God praise and bless his name for what he has done for us. Despite what we have been going through, he has never left us, nor he will never forsake us. Let us continue to trust him while being faithful and true. We will now be blessed with a song from our music ministry. And we do have the victory. today from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 31 reading from verse 6. The Bible says in verse 6, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God will go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God will go ahead of you. 
He will never leave you nor forsake you. Yeah. If there's ever a time that we need to have such assurance, it is now. And we're living in a difficult time where so many things are happening and people are wondering what is going to happen in the months to come. What is going to happen tomorrow? How are they going to survive in these difficult times? But I thank God that whenever we need assurance, whenever we need a word of comfort, whenever we need some form of guidance, we can look to his word, look to the scriptures, and he will give us a word in time and on time. Yes. This evening, as we come into your homes, as we come into your cars or wherever you may be this evening, we just want to encourage you that this word was given to God, to Joshua, by God. He was spoken through Moses as Joshua was going to transit. He was going to do, he was going to go to a new level. And one of the things about going to a new level or going into a, a new atmosphere is that you don't know what to expect. You don't know what's going to go on. You don't know where you're going to go. You don't know who you're going to meet. But yet still, God gave Moses the assurance that he gave to Joshua to say, be strong and be what? Courageous. It's not just about the strength, but you have to be brave. And you have to have faith to know that God is going to take you through. These were the same words that God even reassured Joshua in the book of Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. To be strong and be courageous. And you know the beauty about this word is that God repeated three times between Deuteronomy 31, verse 1 through 8. And also three times again in the book of Joshua chapter 1, where he assured Joshua to be strong. This evening, whatever you're going through, this week, whatever you've been through so far, or what is coming in the future, hear what the word of God has said. He has already gone ahead of you. He has made provision that you don't need to fear. You don't need to worry. You don't even need to be concerned. But all you need to do is to trust him. Be strong. Be courageous. Do not panic. That's fear. For the Lord your God has already gone ahead of you. He has made provision. And he is going to bless you. He's going to keep you. He's going to cover you. And all he's asking for is that you continue to trust him. Amen. Hallelujah. May God bless you today. We are going to pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Father, we thank you today for your word. Thank you for your assurance. And many people are fearful during this season. Many people are fearful during this time. They are fearful of the virus. They are fearful of losing their jobs. They are fearful of what is to come. They are fearful of the future. But we thank you that the same word that you have given to Moses and to Joshua years ago, before yes. we were even a thought in our, in our, on our parents' mind or yes. even a, a fetus in our mother's womb, is the same word that we can even hold on to today. That no matter what lies ahead, that you got it, you are going to keep us, you are going to carry us, you are going to cover us, you are going to give us strength because you have already made the provision. We don't know what tomorrow brings, but we thank you today that we know who holds tomorrow. And if there's someone out there who is listening or watching, or you may just be skipping through YouTube and you happen to come up on this word, I want to assure you today that if you don't know the God that we're talking about, yeah. he is willing and able yes, to welcome you with open arms and to bless you and to let you know that he cares about you and he has already made provision for you. Yes. We thank you, God. Thank you, Jehovah. Over Jireh, the God who provides that you are able to do the impossible. We look to you by faith today. We give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. and amen. May God bless you, may He keep you, may He make His face to shine upon you, and to be with peace in Jesus' name. Have a wonderful week and have a blessed evening. Amen. Thank you for worshiping with us today. Before you go, we wanted you to know. That if you do not know the Lord as your personal Savior or you're in need of prayer, feel free to reach out to us. You can call or text the number listed below. That number is 609-531-8388. A member of our ministerial team will be glad to pray with you and encourage you in the Lord. Again, thank you for worshiping with us and we look forward to seeing you again soon. God bless you.